Hi everyone. In my previous video, I actually explained the typical practical screening criteria for literature review searches. You can find the link in the description section below where I discussed what are the different uh, criteria researchers can use to include or exclude literature uh, from their collected search. In today's video, I will actually show you an example uh, which will uh, make it clear on how you can go about excluding or including criteria or justifying it in your research paper or your thesis. So let's take an example where I'll show you a small paragraph on how a researcher wrote a certain paragraph and justified the screening criteria and then I'll highlight the important bits and pieces so that it becomes clear to you as to what you have to do in your literature review as well. So if you read this article carefully and I'll give you a couple of minutes to do so, uh, you can see here the researcher has written that to identify articles in English pertaining to measures of social functioning, uh, we use three sources of information. The source of information is given, then they limited candidate articles to those having the term social functioning in their titles. And from these articles, they selected only those that were published from 2008 to present and also that described or used at least one questionnaire. And they excluded articles, letters, reviews, editorials that were not written in English, French, Russian, Danish or Spanish or dealt primarily with methodology or policy. They then reviewed the list of articles and restricted their selection to 15 prominent journals. So this is the way they wrote the paragraph. Now let's highlight the bits and pieces that you guys need to know as to where are the inclusion criteria and where is the exclusion criteria. So you do understand what we are trying to get here, right? Uh, because during your literature review, you will be doing a search and uh, you will come across hundreds of articles. Now, out of those hundreds of articles, you can't include all the articles. Uh, you have to have a selection criteria as to why you chose a certain number of articles from the hundreds of articles you collected and then you analyzed and found the research gap. Now, on what basis did you choose those few articles is what I'm trying to explain here. So I explained some of the criteria that people use and in today's video, I'm trying to explain uh, how researchers go about justifying those criteria. So look at the first point here. The term social functioning, the term social functioning, you can say it's type of a content uh, that they used as a criteria to include or exclude the Article. So here they of course used uh, social functioning as a content criteria for including. So what they did was they, they included articles where the term social functioning was mentioned. Right. Let's take another inclusion criteria. Now the second inclusion criteria was that they chose articles only published from 2008 to present. Now of course if you do that you have to justify why did you choose a certain year. Here I'm not going to go into those details but if you do mention a specific time period, you need to justify to the reviewer or the examiner as to why you chose that certain time period. But here, the publication date becomes an inclusion criteria. So they are using that as an inclusion criteria. They chose only articles from 2008 to present. The third inclusion criteria could again be classified under a content or an instrument where you, they chose to select the articles only that uh, that described or used at least one questionnaire if not more so this was again used as an inclusion criteria so so the three inclusion criteria so far is one the term social functioning second the publication date third is the content or the instrument that was used in research so here they said that they selected articles where at least one questionnaire was described they also selected the articles that were written in English, French, Russian, Danish or Spanish. All right, so uh, this becomes a publication language. So here you can see they have clearly written, we excluded letters, articles, reviews, editorials that were not written in English, French. So they selected the articles that were written in English, French, Russian, Danish or Spanish. So this was the inclusion criteria. And the last inclusion criteria they used was that the 15 prominent journals. Journal became the inclusion criteria. All right. Now you have to justify all this. You can't say I'm just going to choose journals. I'm not going to choose uh, um, you know, conference papers or thesis. Uh, 
so the reviewer may come back to you and say why you did why did you choose only journals uh, so remember all that right so whenever you you mention any inclusion or exclusion criteria you need to justify it here i'm just showing you an example of how people go about writing their inclusion or exclusion criteria now let's look at two of the exclusion criteria what were the two exclusion criteria the researchers used first one the exclusion criteria was they excluded letters editorials reviews and articles that were not written in a certain language so the exclusion criteria here became the research design so the research design was that if the these articles were not written in the language mentioned then they were excluded the second exclusion criteria is that they excluded all the articles that dealt primarily with methodology or policy they didn't want to include those articles all right so uh, again it was the researcher's choice it must be the research focus but they did exclude those articles that dealt primarily with methodology or policy so here was an example to show you guys how you can use a certain criteria for inclusion or exclusion of articles from your literature review when you collect hundreds of articles you need to sort them then based on these criteria and then once you sort them the included articles will be analyzed deeply to find the research gap in your area of research so guys let me know what you thought about this video and whether you enjoy these videos or not and thank you for supporting the channel i'll keep uh, publishing videos easy to understand videos that will help you in your research journey and um, thank you for supporting the channel bye for now